Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to go over how I use a scope box to get a consistent crop region on my plan views. I like to have a consistent crop region on my plan views for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it helps clean up random floating graphics from linked Revit models. The second reason I like to have a consistent crop region is that it will help me to precisely locate plan views on sheets. Here I have my structural Revit model already open. When I zoom extends on my foundation plan view, the plan view doesn't center on the screen. I can see that on the bottom right hand that there are some floating graphics on the linked Revit model that is preventing my plan view from being centered on the screen. So I'm going to check the second floor framing plan here and I zoom extends and I see that this has some graphical issues as well. Checking roof framing plan now. And when I zoom extends, there's no issues there. I'm going to my lowest level to set up my scope box. So that will be my foundation plan view. I go to the view tab and select the scope box option. There are a couple of scope box options when you are in the command. You can give the scope box a name and specify a height. I leave those as a default values. I'm going to draw out the scope box to capture only the graphics that I want to see. After creating the scope box, there are a couple of scope box properties I can modify. There is the view visible property that lets me modify the automatic visibility on existing views as well as the override graphics for the scope box. I typically leave these options on their default states. The other property is the name of the scope box. I like to name my scope boxes. So this one I will rename to crop boundary. Now I'm going to toggle on the crop region by hitting the show crop region button. When I zoom extends, the black solid line that is now visible is the current size of the crop region. To bind the crop region to the scope box, I go to the properties window, go to the scope box area, and select my named scope box. Now when I zoom extends, the plan view is centered on my screen. And I'm going to do the same process for my other views. If I want to modify the crop region of the view, I have to unlink the scope box from the crop region by sending the scope box property to none. To modify the scope box, I drag the grip that becomes available when I select the scope box and drag it to the new location. Then I relink the scope box to the crop region by selecting the scope box name on the scope box property. The cool thing about this is that the crop region will automatically modify across all my plan views. So I don't need to manually adjust the crop region for each view. And that is going to wrap up this video. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share.